All right, we're going to try to uh, align a tape tape head, the lecture head, using some audio editing software on a PC with the tape deck connected to the, uh, the PC uh, via the headphone jack. Here are the three uh, heads, so on the left is the erased, then you have the recording and then you have the playing head. And we're going to be messing around with the screw that's right above the wires where they solder into the head. So the goal is to the goal here is to find the position of the, the screw such that you get a recording that's that is at the highest output level possible. So for that we're gonna use some audio editing software like Cool Edit Pro, which I use, or you can use whatever you want. And we're gonna start by recording some stuff. So when you compare your recordings in terms of uh, output levels, you want to make sure that you always record the same thing. And that's where the uh, editing software is helpful, because you can trim the beginning and the end, so that you always have the same thing. So in general what you want to do is that you record uh, at one position of the screw, and then you record at another position of the screw, and you compare the two output levels and that tell you that tells you uh, which way you should turn uh, next it's pretty easy once you once you're able to compare two uh, recordings in terms of their output levels okay here i'm going to just uh, trim the beginning and the end of that recording and uh, really the big thing about uh, this is to be able to get the uh, the output level or the decibel level and uh, for this we are going to use uh, the capabilities of that uh, editing software in terms of statistics and uh, here we are going to build an histogram uh, that's, that's going to have on the x axis the uh, decibel meaning the output level and on the y axis it's going to have the percentage of time that the recording has spent at that level. So if you think about it, it means that the more shifted to the right the, uh, the histogram is, the more output the recording is, uh, is giving you. So the more shifted to the right, the better the recording in terms of how we're going to align that, that lecture. So here I'm going to show the histogram. Uh, the blue is the the, le the left channel, the red is the uh, right channel, and uh, the left channel channel is right now in the foreground, but you can switch them around. And what you do is that you take a snapshot of those histograms, and you take a snapshot snapshot of uh, other histograms uh, at different positions of the screw, and that way you can uh, compare the uh, output levels and tell which one is better, which of the recordings uh, is better. And that's really all there is to it in terms of how to align the head using this method. Okay, so once you have the histogram, you still have to figure out uh, which one is better, so you need to have a way to compare them, and uh, the best way is probably to use Photoshop. Uh, load one up as the base and then load another one as an overlay meaning uh, another layer at 50% uh, let's say so that you have some transparency you can still see the, the base base uh, recording and you just check to see which one is more to the right and that tells you uh, which one is the better recording and that way you can make the proper decision with regard to uh, how to turn the screw next and uh, basically uh, alignment based on uh, output level uh, that's really all there is to it you just need a way to compare two different recordings at different positions of the screws and uh, an audio editing software is really very handy helping you figure out which recording is better.